Hey, it's World Goth Day, and everybody's favorite hardcore Christian is right here. And I got a message for you. Get ready for some hardcore truth. You guys remember the first thing I ever told y'all? My very first podcast when I was filling in for TOEF? What was that? You can't win. Yeah, I'm going to revisit that for one second. You see, you can't win, no matter what you're struggling with. But you can either tap out, you know, and let, you can either tag out and let God take care of it, or you can tap out if you're wrestling against God. You see, I want to talk about another way you can't win. And this way is so rare. That, well, these ways are t so rare in about 30 years of watching of wrestling and watching wrestling, I've only seen both of them happen a total of three times. Three. You see somebody, your manager, your best friend, your partner, can throw in the towel on you. They can say, hey, you don't got this. So you, I'm throwing in the towel, I'm calling the match on your behalf. And likewise, the ref can say, hey, you're in no condition to continue. You're done. I'm calling the match. And you see, it sucks because you have no say in that. You have no say whether your manager throws in the towel. You have no say on whether the referee, you know, decides to call the match because you're too injured. But you know, it's funny. Like I said, both of these I've only seen happen three times. You know, two I've seen somebody call, tossing the towel on with somebody else, and once I've seen the ref stop the match. But you know, I think that happens a lot more to us in real life instead of the melodrama that is pro wrestling. In real life, I think all too often our friends throwing the towel on us. And say, you know what? I'm just done with you. All too often, I think somebody stops the match. You know, on behalf because we're too because they think we're too injured, that we can't continue, that we can't go on. And in real life, that sucks. But it happens quite a lot, doesn't it? You all know exactly what I'm talking about. And you know, I don't have some deep, wise, insightful. No truth to give you guys on that. I don't have some like profound way to get over that or to deal with that. I don't have any real answers other than that it's painful and it hurts. But I think we've all been there. I think we've all been to that place where one of somebody we thought was our best friend just decides to walk away and have nothing more to do with us, or somebody's tired of hearing about our pain and they just, you know, call the match and are done with us. Are you picking up what I'm throwing down here? Good. You see, we need to be careful on who we call our friends. We need to protect ourselves at all times, defend ourselves at all times, and Sometimes that means defending ourselves against those people who we would call our friends. So that they don't turn their backs. So they don't throw in the towel on us. So they don't walk away. So they don't say, hey, you're too hurt. You can't go on. And that's what I'm trying to get at here is watch your friends. Make sure you've got some good close friends who are going to cheer you on, who are going to be there, who aren't going to throw in the towel on you. We aren't going to call it quits just when you're about ready to have a comeback. Who aren't going to give up on you ever? Because we've all been there. And we all know how much that hurts. But likewise, don't you be doing that to somebody else. If you're in their corner, don't be giving up on them, you know? Be there to encourage them, be there to cheer them on. Don't ever throw the towel on them. 
and don't ever say that they're too injured and you're too tired of dealing with it. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. And remember, goodbye and God bless.